Welcome back to your 5-Minute Football Fix. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellis, and it is Friday the 9th of September 2011. Tonight we're talking about that great kickoff night for the greatest sport in the universe. We have our Facebook Super Bowl results. And Plastico Burris goes off on some former Giants. First up, Stephen, last night. We're still living off the buzz that was last night's opener to the most dramatic sporting event, the most greatest sport that's ever been invented in the history of sports. <laughs> we like it. We oh. like it a lot. <laughs> I'm still high. The Green Bay Packers hosted the New Orleans Saints 42 42- 34 final, an eight-point victory for the Packers. It took an untimed down at the end of the game. It went past the end of the game. Uh, pass interference in the end zone gave the Saints one more play from the one-yard line, and they gave it to their rookie running back, and he got stuffed. Man, I tell you, it, it, the, the defense was so ready for this. The score sounds like it wasn't that, or that it was a really close game, but it wasn't that close a game, but they just couldn't put the knockout punch on the New Orleans Saints, and Drew Brees kept battling back, battling back, battling back, refused to say lose, and with a minute eight remaining in the game, drove the team 79 yards of the 80 yards needed to Uh. make this game really interesting and potentially push overtime. But it was not meant to be for the greatest sport that's ever existed. My question to Sean Payne is this, Jeff. Why, after Drew Brees just drove you down the field 79 yards to get you to the one-yard line, do you take the ball out of his hands? He was on fire. He carved up the Packers' defense, and all he needed was one more pass to get you one more yard for a chance at a two-point conversion and a tie, and you gave the ball to the rookie. I hope you all learned something. All I want something. to say is why are you in a bunch formation when you've been in a spread formation driving the field the whole way? You basically give yourself no option but to play action or to run the ball off the gut. And – I'm sorry. I want the ball in Drew Brees' hands. I want my playmakers to have options. When you've got this little mass of humanity, nobody yeah. could have gotten in there. Mickey Mouse couldn't have gotten inside there. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll get over this. Facebook Super Bowl has been played. Our preseason Facebook Super Bowl where we asked all of our Facebook friends out there, go out, give us your division winners, give us your conference winners, give us your... And we landed up with the New England Patriots facing off against... The Green, Green Bay, Bay Packers. Packers and Super Bowl 46. And once again, just like they always do, the New England Patriots manage a narrow victory. Steven, I suspect <laughs> that some people there in Foxborough, knowing Bill Belichick, he's sneaky. He goes and he has some people out there on Facebook manipulating the data. Oh, you've got to go like this page and you've got to go <laughs> vote on this poll so that they will end up winning by three points, like they always do. Well, in their three Super Bowl wins, the the Patriots won by three points, and they win this one by three points. So, thank you, Facebook friends, for coming out. New England Patriots and making a dramatic Super Bowl will before be the, any games were even played. Your Super Bowl victor uh, by three. Uh, good stuff there. Thanks for coming out and voting. Now, finally, Jeffrey Plaxico Burris is in the newest issue of the Men's Journal. Now, I don't know how the Men's Journal does it, but they all always seem to get NFL players to talk bad about other NFL players. Specifically <laughs> NFL players involving guns. Yeah, well, it's not this issue, Jeff. This is the James Harrison issue right. uh, from a few weeks Which ago. I had to correct for safety purposes. Yeah, here's Jeff. I think yeah. I look pretty B.A. No, no, no. This is B.A. Go back to Har- See, Harrison, that's B.A. right But he's there. not safe, so it's much better to be B.A. and safe. Than to just be BA with your fingers in the triggers and no hearing or eye protection. All right, you, like that. you do look but very dangerous with those weapons. But now we've got Blasco Burris, who had a gun, obviously, and it went off in an unfortunate setting, and it cost him two years of his life incarcerated in prison, and he is very upset with his head coach, Tom Coughlin, former head coach, and his quarterback, Eli Manning, and comes out in Men's Journal and says so. Well, he says basically that he felt uh, a little disrespected by Coughlin, that Coughlin didn't feel uh, for his health, and he was more concerned and by saying that he was sad and disappointed at the wide receiver. Then he comes out and says that he thought he had a better relationship than Eli Manning and was very saddened by the fact that in the 20 months he was incarcerated, no call, no visit, no letter, no, no nothing. No cake with a file in it. Nothing. <laughs> Well, I don't think Eli would have done that. But uh, basically, no conversations from Eli Manning. Peyton would have. (laughs) Okay. But Blasco is saying, look, I stood behind this quarterback. I was always there to get his back. And when I was in time of need, 
I he wasn't there for me, and I thought we were better than that. All right, that's what we got for you today. Enjoy the games this weekend. Baltimore and Pittsburgh is my fave. Week oh. one, I want to see Atlanta and Chicago. I want to see what the Colts do against the Texans. Week one is here. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellis. For your five-minute football fix. 